So the Lord gave me two new riddles today. I thought we were done with the riddles, but apparently not. Two new riddles and then additional insight into a riddle he already gave us. So we'll go over that after the song, but it's all related to the signs of the times. This song is, be ready for the hour that you don't expect. He's coming, coming as the son of man. Be watching for the signs. There will be many signs, but God alone knows the hour when he will come. That's today's song. And then hang out with me till the end because then we'll go over the riddles. Be ready for the hour that you don't expect. He's coming, coming as the Son of Man. Be watching for the signs there will be made signs but God alone knows the hour when he will come when he will come when he will come Be ready for the hour that you don't expect. He's coming, coming as the son of man. Be watching for the signs. There will be many signs. Tomorrow is just a sign. I'm not waiting around for the rapture. I'm not, but I'm noticing the signs. I'm noticing the signs. And the reason I don't wait around for the rapture is because God told me that I'm an end times worker and I'm gonna be working the whole time. I'm not sitting around hoping to be raptured up and out of here. No, I will be working when things are getting really rough. I will be working, doing my father's business, an end times worker, bringing in the harvest, being used by God to tell people what's up, break it down for them so they understand, and bring in the harvest. I will be working, all right? If you're waiting for the rapture, good that's great you do you but I am not God alone knows the hour when he comes he will come God alone knows the hour but we are to be watching for the signs watching for the signs so the first riddle he made it personal to me but the answer is a word for all of us he said Tara you're mine T is mine. 
is the riddle. T is mine. And when he said T is mine, he gave me instant understanding of the solve. And there are two solves to the riddle, T is mine. T for Tara, I am Tara. Now sometimes when the Lord says T, he's talking about the Tav, the Tav of the Aleph Tav. And we will talk about that today, the Tav. But first, T is mine. All right. Well, the answer is, the first answer, S-M-I-T-E. S-M-I-T-E. We're going to use all the letters to solve the riddle. Smite. What does it mean to smite? God did it all throughout the Old Testament. Smite. A heavy blow or strike with a weapon or a hand. To kill or severely injure. To smite. The letters that are left over is I-N. I-N. Smite in. Let's add a couple words to understand. He will smite us in. Are we talking a period of time? Days? Weeks? Months? Years, maybe? Smite in. Days, weeks, months, years, maybe? We will revisit this word in because God gave me further understanding of the word in. It's a Bible reference. But if we were to take these letters, T is mine, and unjumble them again, the word is S I N. And then the word is T I M E. It's not time to sin, but because of sin, it is time. Because of sin, it is time for God to smite, for God to smite. Now let's look at the word in, I-N. I is the ninth letter in the alphabet. N is the 14th letter in the alphabet. And God told me to look at Revelation 9.14 and Genesis 9.14. Starting at Revelation, then going to Genesis. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God. Now this is 9.14 saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. Release the four angels. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. So the four angels were released to kill, or to, in better words, to smite one-third of all mankind. Let's see what Genesis 9.14 has to say. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Now 9.14. It shall be, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh, all life. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. So in Revelation 9.14, 
the four angels are released to kill a third of all mankind. Genesis 9.14 is the promise of the rainbow that God would never again destroy the earth by flood. But because of sin, it is judgment time. It is judgment time. Genesis 9.14, like a rainbow in the clouds. Ezekiel 1.28 says, Like the appearance of a rainbow in a cloud on a rainy day, so was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is like a rainbow in a cloud. The glory of the Lord. Well, it is the Lord Jesus Christ who is coming to judge the earth. He is coming to judge. And the four angels going out are part of that judgment. Now we'll go over a riddle that we've already seen, but it is applicable to today because God gave me further understanding of the riddle. The riddle is the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. We know what happened to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. They were smited. God's wrath came upon them for the sin within. So the answer to this riddle is S I N sin O F of M A G A MAGA Yeah, MAGA make America great again. The sin of the United States equals the word is D O O M. Doom. Doom is a word that God uses in the scripture to let us know what is coming. Doom. Sin of MAGA, make America great again, is doom. Or in other words, the result of the sin of MAGA is doom. But T H E. T H E, the door, D O O R, is I S E T E T E T. The door is E T. Who is E T? E T. E.T. is the Hebrew for Alpha Omega, which is the Greek. Alpha is the first letter in the Greek. Omega is the last letter in the Greek. Likewise, E, the Aleph, is the first letter in the Hebrew. And the Tav is the last letter in the Hebrew. The Aleph Tav, the Alpha Omega, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he is two. I'm not going to teach on why he is two today. If you want to know what I'm talking about, you can go to my playlist and there's a video called Riddles. All the riddles God has given me. God has given me over 80 riddles, but I only included the, the 80 in that video. But it talks about the Lord Jesus Christ being both the Aleph and the Tav, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He is two. And I'll show you briefly what I'm talking about. L-A-M-B. And there's much, much more than this, but this is just a little bit of a taste. L-A-M-B. That looks like a one. That looks like an I. I am Who's the one who says, I am? God the Father said, I am. The Lord Jesus Christ said, before Abraham was, I am. I am. To say, I am, is to say, I be, is to say, I exist. I be. I exist. They're the same things. But I am be. B is the second letter in the alphabet, the number two letter. 
The B is used first in the scripture, in the word Bereshit, in the beginning. B is the second letter, but comes first. I am B, which is the same as saying, I am two. I am two. Why is he two? Because he and his wife, the wife of the Lamb, are one. The two are one. The Alpha and Omega. The Aleph, which is really this, and the Tav. And that's as far as we'll go today. Just know that Jesus and the wife are two in one. So the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, the sin of make America great again is going to result in doom, but the door of escape is the E.T., the Aleph Tav, the Aleph Tav. But I have some letters left over. We've got a C, we've got an R, and we've got an H. So the first time I saw this, the Lord said to use Exodus RH. All right, what am I talking about? R is the 18th letter. H is the 8th letter. So Exodus 18.8 is where Moses is telling his father-in-law all the things that God had done. We're going to be the same. We're going to be telling our descendants all the things that God has done. And that is the letter C. C is the same as S-E-E. So we've got to see these things. We've got to understand that the door is Christ. To escape the doom that's coming, we've got to go through the door that is Christ. But today, God told me to switch the order. C H R C H R is T C H R is T T stands for Tav So we've got a C the door is the ET and the ET is Christ C-H-R-I-S-T. The olive top is both Jesus and the wife. Jesus and the wife. The aleph and the tav. Jesus is the aleph. The wife is the tav. They are Christ. C-H-R is T. Tav. So the word smite, and it may be happening in days, years, months, weeks. And because of our sin, it is time. And just like the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, the sin of Maga is going to equal doom. And there is a way of escape. The door is Christ. The door is the E.T., the Aleph Tav. Well, let's talk about the Tav, how it ties into what's going on tomorrow with the eclipse. In 2017, the eclipse went from like over here to down here. That's the United States and Florida, okay? The eclipse went like that. Now, tomorrow the eclipse is gonna go like that. That is an X. The X is the ancient letter T, which is the top, which is the final letter Of the 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, the Tav. The Tav is the wife of the Lamb. The Tav. The wife of the Lamb is the Holy Spirit. She is wisdom. The Tav is coming. The Tav. That's an X, but it's really a T for the Tav. So the video I made about the riddles goes into a little bit further detail explaining some of what I just said. But 
If Jesus is the Aleph and his wife is the Tav, Jesus died for her and all the children, and I've explained why we are all the children, everyone born of the Spirit that comes through the womb of the wife is a child of God because Jesus and the wife are part of the Godhead. Well, Jesus died for her. Remember, God told me in 2016, the woman is now forgiven. The whole revelation, I mean, she's been, she's been hidden. The enemy didn't want you to know about her. But the revelation is EVE on ON trial. She was put on trial, T R I A L. All those letters are used here. Eve was put on trial for what she did in the garden. I mean, she was. But the second Adam needs to get the second Eve redeemed. That's the way God's doing it. So he hung upon a T. He hung upon a T. That's how he died for you and me. Upon a T, a cross, a cross. So now on to the good news. Woman. She shall be called woman. Let's unjumble these letters. Ma. W-O-N. One. Who is Ma? Well, of a father and a mother, you get A for Alpha, O for Omega, Alpha and Omega, they are the Christ. These are them come in the flesh. Jesus came in the flesh. The wife of the lamb comes in the flesh. Now don't be confused. The father and the mother, the two are one. Just like the alpha and omega, Jesus and the wife of the lamb, the two are one. In fact, because father and mother are spirits, they are one. And then come in the flesh is the son, and the wife in the flesh the son comes in the flesh the wife comes working together to bring about God's plan of redemption of the children watch that videos riddle videos riddle the riddle video and you will understand more I did a lot of teaching on this but I got rid of all those videos because God told me to he said to start over so I'm not going into a lot of depth here. Maybe I will at some point. I don't know. But wrap your head around this one. If I just had the word here, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you'd have no problem with it. Well, Father and Mother are the Godhead. God said, let's make man in our image, Father and Mother. Let's make man in our image, male and female. He created them. Well, God decided to take on flesh, came as the Son, and then the Son said, I must go away. So the Helper comes. Well, the, the Helper came, guided people along the way. But at the end, just like the Son came in the flesh, the Helper has to come in the flesh and be redeemed by the Son and point everybody to the Son because she's of the mother. She's of the mother. She's the wife. She's the mother. She wants to see the children saved. So she took on flesh to make sure all the children got saved. Why did she win? Why did Ma win? Because she got her way and all the children will be saved. She's the one who's been crying mercy for the life of the children. Mercy. Me, cry, C-R-Y. She's been crying mercy.
for the life of the children. And she got her way. The children will be saved. It's God who gives the children to Jesus. All who the Father, and they are one, all who the Father gives to the Son will come to the Son. He will not lose one. And who's the one who points everybody to Jesus? The Holy Spirit, the wife. All right, I feel like I'm going to be leaving you hanging if you haven't been around for all the videos I already made. Slowly going over these things, very slowly, methodically going over them, video after video after video. But we ain't got time for that no more. Just let it sink in, though. The revelation is Eve was put on trial. The woman was put on trial for what she did. She had to be redeemed. There was a second Adam, and he came to save the second Eve and all of their children, all of their children. So God the Father and the mother has been hidden, but she's been here all along. God the Father, Mother, one spirit, made a way for them to be saved, even though... They rebelled. Even though they rebelled, God made a way for them to be saved by sending the son, sending the daughter, who are wed to each other to bring about the redemption of all the fallen man. So God said to me today, T, you're mine. T is mine. And the answer to the riddle, smite. He will smite us in a certain time frame. It's coming. I told you we're at the time of the end. Because of our sin, it is time. Because of our sin, it is time. And the angels are released to kill a third of mankind. But mercy, there's always mercy. The rainbow in the cloud is a promise of God's mercy. And the mother is mercy. So maybe things won't be so bad as we think if the mother has her way. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, the sin of America, doom's coming. And yes, it's coming. It's coming. But if we cry out to the Lord, the one who is the door, the Aleph and the Tav, who is Christ, we will be saved. God showed me a long time ago that love and mercy will reign at the time of the end, like be poured out upon the people, poured out. at the time of the end, like rain. Love and mercy reign, God, the Father, and the Mother. They reign, they're in charge. This whole story of redemption from the first chapter in Genesis, God creating everything in our image, he created man, our image, God the Father, God the Mother, our image, he created man, till the fall of man, to all of the wandering and the all of it in the whole Bible, to the very last chapter of the story, the wife of the Lamb comes, right? The wife of the Lamb. It's their story, and they reign, R-E-I-G-N. Yes, there will be many signs that it is the time of the end, and tomorrow's eclipse may be one of them. It may be one of them, but it will be one of many. But it's not about the signs. It's not about the signs. It's about our hearts. We've got to get our hearts right with Christ. 
the signs might be interesting they might be but i'm like i don't get all excited about the signs oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh it is it is ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. no because i'm grounded in christ first of all i'm grounded I know I'm going to be redeemed. I know a lot of things that are coming down the pike. Coming. But it's about our hearts. If you are certain that the rapture is tomorrow, who did you tell about Jesus today? Who did you tell? If you're so sure that tomorrow is the rapture, who did you tell about Jesus today? I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you the next day. All right, God bless you.